Um, could see it over um, this week, three games, picking up six points. That is okay, definitely. And hard, hard work, definitely a lot of energy. Right attitude from the beginning. Uh, defended well, they had, a, of course, a couple of chances. Uh, Portland, they are a team in quite good form. I think they were unbeaten in five games, three wins and two ties. One point ahead of us, of course, every game is almost like a cup final for us now, but a solid, solid effort. Start with Michael and Christian. Yeah, Hans, uh, this was one of the most intense games the uh, team has played. Can the Red Bulls keep this up for the next four games to get into the playoffs? Uh, I think it's up to us now. We need probably to win, uh, I don't know, two, three games probably to uh, to have a chance. But still, we have the chance now. It's up to us. and. I think we have three uh, games at home from the last four, so that uh, I'm not sure we have, no, probably not. Two. We two. have two, two, LA and Philly in the last game, yeah. But then of course uh, the key game against uh, Kansas away and Philly, the two last games, we probably show if we are in or not. Christian and Brian. Coach, could you talk about the job that Stephen Keel did in the absence of Rafa Marquez and the team as a whole in light of what, everything that happened yesterday in their response? Yeah, it is so. You need uh, that kind of uh, central defender <coughs> in the MLS um, as a center back who, who are a kind of a cleaner, battle all the time, uh, go for headers, don't give the strikers too much time to control the ball. If you look at the other team, you can see Portland's type of center backs, too, too big, hard working fighters. <coughs> Take Brian and Jack and Dan. Uh, in light of what Rafa had said, did you did you have to do any work from there to now to make sure everybody was on the same page and that the attitude and mentality was right in there? No. And when he comes back, considering you just said you need a big cleaner at center back, would you consider putting him in the midfield? Yeah, definitely. It would, could be a choice on midfield. Absolutely. We know that uh, his distribution is uh, his top class. Uh, the final pass is from midfield, so he can definitely be a an option on central midfield. And the first part of that, I'm sorry. Uh, about, no, we haven't, uh, everyone uh, is uh, very clear about our playing style. We don't need to do anything or any special uh, chats or talks with the players. Take Dan, then Ian, and then Jack over here. Coach, the last time this club was awarded a penalty was against Portland at Jeldwen Field. And of course, it was Dwayne De Rosario that took them. Did you feel confident or did you? decide to pick Luke Rogers to be the penalty taker or was that Henri's decision? Luke asked me uh, before the let's see now Salt Lake game and I said yeah if it, if you're sure and he said I'm 100% so that's good. Ian. <laughs> uh, just coming back to Stephen Keel, three months ago he had a rather taut time at Geldwen. Uh, tonight's probably his, his best performance for the team. You know, can you talk about how his de he's developed uh, yeah, he has done, done some uh, some good games, and to be fair against Steven, you know, being out from competitive games, I wonder if it was two months ago or something like that, he played a competitive game, very few reserve games. But he's, he's a very professional, hard-working centre-back. Every session, 100% uh, take care of his body, you know, on a perfect way, and uh, he's a strong, strong, hard-working centre-back, and... Uh, it is impressive that um, he can keep this level being out that long time from competitive games. Good, Jack and Tim. Hans, does Rafa play next game? And if he does, who who comes out? Yeah, we'll see. We have now, it's good, we have a week after three games, tough games, and then picking up six points this week will, of course, show uh, how we will line up against Toronto. So you're not, you're not certain? You're not certain. I, I never tell uh, when it's a week to go who will play, you know, you pick up injuries and things like that and players get sick. So we will see, you know, we have four or five sessions before the Toronto game. Hans, were you concerned with the mental status of your team coming into the game tonight, especially after the loss Wednesday and especially after what took place with Rafa and, and the suspension and all? Were you worried about whether or not the team was going to be able to respond one way or the other? Yeah, a little bit. More uh, more mentally, as you mentioned, because it's uh, definitely a stressy game. It's about our season. And uh, you never know how players react uh, 
how to say in the possession game, the passing game, if it's stressy or not. Um, and I think perhaps we were a little bit <coughs> stress, stress in the beginning. We had some unforced errors, but after 15, 20 minutes, we looked that we controlled the game. And of course, very, very important to score the first goal. Last question, Christian. This was the fourth time since July 6th that you had a lead going into halftime. What did you see from the team in the first 25, 30 minutes, and how can they replicate this then for next week? We're probably the only team in the league with a phenomenal record, the 32nd game. <laughs> we have never lost when we are scoring the first goal. We have 22 wins, 10 tied games. The only team in the league with that record scoring the first goal. So I was quite happy when we scored the first one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Rebels will be available shortly.